Hey guys, it's Brandon or Manganello. It's day 39 of the Approach Anxiety program. It is about 4.50 p.m. I might keep going. I might not. I'm not sure how today is going to go. So I'm just recording the video now while it's still kind of fresh in my head what I just did. So yeah, day 39, this is the one where you pretty much do two different scripts. The first one is, hey, wait a second. You get their attention. You say, hey, wait a second, you're cute. And then the other one is, hey, wait a second, you're cute. And then you introduce yourself. You say, I'm Brandon. And then you leave, like you don't keep the conversation going. So, um, all between today and yesterday, I did 10 today, I did 2 yesterday, so I'm at 12. Uh, it is so much easier than day 38. It, even though it's the same drill, like you, like just talking to that many girls, like I said yesterday, I talked to 53 hot girls, but in reality it was probably, probably closer to 55, 56 girls in total that I did drills on yesterday so yes or i guess that would have been friday so that was pretty intense uh whereas this drill because of that feels a lot more easy there's there's still a little bit of tension still some anxiousness i'll admit that but yeah you can still do it it's not like before where it's like you can't even get yourself to do it here it's just you, you feel it a little bit but you can still go ahead and do it uh and unlike day 38 was uh, I could get some social momentum going. Um, all social momentum means is just like, at least this is how I, I'm pretty sure this is what Chris means, uh, how Chris means it, and this is how I've interpreted it, is just you're able to just talk to people without really any hesitation. You just kind of get into a groove where you're just talkable in general. So that's, uh, today definitely had that. Um, and yeah, so... Okay, so yesterday was Valentine's Day. It was really hard to find a girl by herself who was, like, attractive. Only talked to two yesterday. Uh, that was at about 30 minutes, and that was me looking. Like, I wasn't dawdling. I wasn't fooling around. Like, I was looking. Could only find two in 30 minutes. So I called yesterday off pretty early because it kind of seemed like that was going to be how the whole day went. Uh, today is family day. Uh, it's a Canadian holiday, and it's family day, which essentially just, I don't know what it means. I think you just spend time with family. Um, so I kind of assumed today, I actually assumed today was like going to be, wasn't really going to be able to get much done because I thought I'm going to go to the mall. I'm going to go to the grocery stores. There's just going to be families there and like no single girls by themselves were like hot. It's just not going to be a thing. But I was actually surprised when I got to the mall. Um, yeah, fuck. I talked to like some gorgeous girls, man. Like, for sure, the the hottest. Oh, maybe there's one or two that got by, but yeah, the hottest girls I saw that were by themselves, I ended up talking to, and that felt good. That actually felt really good, especially since the like panic of day 38 is kind of gone. Like I'm kind of back to myself doing these drills. Uh, just like going there and like, yeah, just walking up to a, like a really hot girl and saying, "Hey, you're cute." Um, and they're like super receptive, feels really good, feels really good. Um, yeah, so nine out of 10 reactions were good. Pretty sure. Actually, probably, okay, seven out of 10 reactions were like very positive. Two out of 10 were neutral. And then one out of 10 was, was not bad, but it wasn't neutral. It was a little bit on the negative side. Not enough to really care, though. She didn't say anything. She just kind of gave the the typical, and at this point, I'm going to call it typical because I've gotten into a lot, is just behind the mat, mat like, their eyes kind of, like, go like this. Like, they're kind of confused. Um, you can tell, like, they're, they don't like it 100%. Uh, but it's not, like, super negative. But that's that's that was the last, last girl I talked to. Yeah, so I guess I talked to Eleven today. Anyway, the, the thing I thought that was going to be the hardest about today was that just like, yeah, honestly, I was worried about saying my name. I thought, okay, I'm pretty sure I can like walk up to a girl and say, hey, wait a second, you're cute. You just, I didn't, honestly, I just learned the way you do it is you just do it. So you just see a girl, you shut your brain off because your brain's going to think a million things of why you shouldn't do it. And you go up and you say, hey, wait a second you're cute, right? And like pretty much it's always positive. 
But I was like fucking freaked about saying my name because I for, like for, I don't know why I just was right. Hey, wait a second, you're cute. I'm Brandon. I was like, and then you leave after that, like you don't continue a conversation. Like I, I don't think I can do that. But like honestly, first time did it at like no problem whatsoever, whatsoever. It was, yeah, that was actually just about as hard as the fifth girl I talked to, which the fifth girl I talked to was actually pretty easy. So no problem there. Um, felt really good, honestly. Like, um, yeah, there was like a, there was like a bit of a high after doing that. Just like really cute girl say, hey, wait a second, you're cute. I'm Brandon. And like, uh, yeah, I remember the first girl. Um, yeah, she was pretty good looking. Um, yeah. I said, hey, wait a second. So she like looks up. She was sitting. She's like, I just said, hey, you're cute. And then she like lit up and said, oh, thanks. And then I said, I'm Brandon. And then I forget her name. I think it was like Rose something. Rosalina, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, she was she was definitely cute. And that was definitely a good reaction. And I felt amazing after that. Um, I didn't like I, I left immediately after because that's what you're supposed to do. But yeah, that felt really good. That felt really, really good. Um, I can kind of see like what Chris talks about and pretty much everybody talks about who's actually gone this far in the program is they say right around this week, you kind of just want to start doing the real approaches. Um, cause like, I don't know, really feels like right about now doing the real approaches isn't that much of a stretch from what I'm doing. I'm already walking up. I'm already saying, Hey, you're cute like what's left you know what I mean hey you're cute um my name's Brandon I'm already doing that like the only thing left that's as far as I know is just like what's your name cool well you can't give a handshake because of COVID but then you just like talk to her for a bit and then grab the number like that's it so at this point this point it, it does really actually for real feel like I can do cold approaches now which is like fucking insane if you think about it because a month ago no way no way two months ago not a chance in hell yeah yeah like a, yeah no way in hell like six weeks ago there's no way I could have done this not even close so yeah just kind of interesting thinking about it like yeah I guess this really does destroy approach anxiety right um walk up to like the hottest girl and by the way the hottest girl I, I i talked to um she was she was like surrounded by people so that was interesting like she was yeah so like i don't know i think people probably could have heard what i said i'm assuming but yeah i just went in there and did it and like yeah, she's like one of those girls who it's like, you can't really think of anything else she could do better to like improve how she looks. Um, yeah, like one of those girls. So like w way up there as far as the looks go. Yeah, she was she was really receptive. And like I said, pretty much everybody else was. I think the difference was this video is going a little long. I might. Yeah, we'll see. I might cut it short, but uh, the the. I think the real difference was that um, since I was a little bit more relaxed, probably how I was saying it, unlike on uh, Friday where I was like, just talked to like 55 girls in one day, it was a little bit more relaxed. It was a little bit more genuine, whereas before it was just like fucking get through this day, like it's like do or die was was like going through my head on day 38 this is a little bit more just grounded i guess oh so i feel really good about today um kind of feeling like keeping going i don't know how long i don't know how long uh how it's it's a holiday so the malls might close early might be pointless driving to the other end of the city just to get to a mall. So 
So that might cap it off, but we'll see. Like, dude, I feel so good doing that. Oh, there was hot girls, like so hot. And they're so receptive too. Feels good. Yeah, it feels really good. Anyway, I guess one last thing I'll say, again, just on style, is like, yeah, like style makes a difference. I I just I just never thought it would make this big of a difference cuz like honestly before I was just kind of dressing I guess how I normally dress which is really not much like no plan just whatever I don't know like whatever looked good in the closet that's what gets worn um but now that I'm kind of going out of my way to like dress in a way that at least girls find sexy uh it's just interesting like like, yeah, like, today, I'm I'm walking around, and, like, there's, I remember it was so interesting, because there's, like, two girls, I know, like, one girl is just kind of looking at me, and, I, like, whatever, um, but then the girl with her, like, turned around to, like, catch a look at me, too, um, never had that happen, um, and, like, yeah, it's interesting, because, like, this is only a few days removed, maybe a few, maybe a week or two removed from, like, how I normally dressed, and that really wouldn't happen before when I was just kind of dressing ad hoc, whereas now it's, like, a little bit more there. So, yeah, feels good. Not a bad day. I could have done more, though. But, anyway, that's it. See you guys later.